Hello there, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are building a pit droid. In this video, I'm gonna be sanding, painting, weathering, filling, all the steps you need to do before you assemble a pit droid. Come along for the journey. So here I've got all the pieces of the pit droid. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sand off any really bad print lines or print mistakes that are there. Today we are going to be filling in the print lines on our pit droid. So what we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna get outside because we need a nice, well, open, ventilated area to work in. Second, we're gonna create a paste out of acetone and Bondo glazing and spot putty. To make this filler, we need obviously our acetone and our Bondo. You're also gonna want something to mix it in, a mixer, rubber gloves, and a nice mask to protect yourself. I forgot to film, but once you're done bonding, sand it all off for a nice smooth finish. So the next step is we're gonna coat everything in filler primer, fill in any imperfections that are left, and then we're gonna sand all over again. We have finished with the filler primer. We are nice and dry. So the next step is we're gonna go in with a really fine sandpaper. We're gonna sand the whole thing down again and make sure we don't have any more imperfections that we need to worry about. At this point, you should really be able to feel the smoothness of your print. We have two pieces of the head that we need to put together and fill the seam before we finalize sanding and are ready to paint. So we're gonna do that now. So I'm gonna take a little rough sandpaper and I'm just gonna kind of rough up the edges that are gonna meet. When you're gluing surfaces together, it's always better to have some rough edges that are meeting and hold the glue and keep the, the seal tighter. So next, we're gonna take a little super glue. We're gonna apply it onto the surface and we're gonna apply it into the holes so that when we push everything together, there's enough glue everywhere to really hold this in place. I'm gonna go ahead and get a clamp and we're gonna clamp this together. So there we go, nice and tight. I'm going to cover this seam that we can see here. I'm gonna fill it with some Bondo and let that dry so that we can finish the seam a little bit later. And now we're going to do a couple rounds of sanding to get rid of all that Bondo we just filled the seam in with and we'll have a nice smooth seam where the pieces came together. This round of sanding is complete. We're gonna do one more coat of filler primer over everything. Make sure we've got every imperfection filled in to the best of our ability. And then we'll be ready for painting. I'll tell you what, there really just is nothing like the feeling of a smooth sanded piece of plastic. So I've chosen a few parts that I'm going to start with a base silver coat. I want it to look like metal. And then when I go to spray the primary color onto it, I can make it chipped to look like the paint is coming off, exposing the metal of the droid. So I've got the head, the body, and some of the extremities, the pieces I feel would be most likely to chip if the pit droid was working. But I want to leave some paint chips to make it look like it's a little beat up. That's where liquid latex comes in. We're gonna take a little bit of this and put it in various places around the chromed parts that we painted. 
those spots won't get painted and it'll look like it's chipping off. I'm only doing a little bit on each piece. I don't want to go overboard with paint chips, but I do want enough on there to give it a nice beat up look. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color to this droid to make him a little bit more my own. I want to do the outer ring in a different color than the beige. So I'm going to mask off everything that I don't want to paint that new color. So there we go, a nice round area to paint on the top. And I finished masking the body and the neck, which are the only other two places that I'm going to add some color to this. Now we're going to remove the liquid latex to reveal all the paint chips that we created on our pieces. Remove the masking. And there's our headpiece. And as you can see, I have a mixture of paint chipped down to the metal and then just paint chipping down to the beige. All right, now the time has come to beat the living crap out of our droid. So it's time to weather. We're gonna start by adding a little bit of black paint to some sort of cup or receptacle. And then mix in a little water. Now, the more black paint you use, the darker your, your weathering is gonna be. And the more water you use, the lighter it's gonna be. For this, you don't want it to be super runny. You do wanna still be able to kind of brush on that paint and let it stick right where you want it. So I'm going with a little bit of a thicker mixture today. Make sure you have paper towels on hand. Once you put your mixture onto your parts, you're gonna to wanna to be able to wipe off the excess to keep it right where you want it. So what I use this mixture for is all of my creases, all of my lines, everywhere that two pieces meet. I just kinda of wanna paint in a little bit of the black into those areas. like so. Then I want to wipe away the excess, leaving just a little bit. So as you can see, we've come in here real nicely, all of our seams have a nice, dirty look to them. We're gonna finish weathering by running a black wash over everything. A very thin, runny, black water mixture that will cover everything and will leave us a real dirty looking droid. So I've got my same mixture from before. I'm gonna need a lot more. So I'm gonna add some more black. I'm gonna add more water than I did before mix that up real good. We want it to almost drip down the sides. And then almost immediately, we're gonna wipe that off. And what you're gonna see is a very dirty piece of plastic. All right, that's it for part one. Make sure you like and subscribe because you're gonna wanna see part two of this video because that's when we're gonna put this bad boy together and we're gonna have a full-size pit droid running around this basement. See you next time and may the force be with you.